Our night sky looks calm and unchanging to the naked eye, so much so that our ancestors once thought of it as an eternally still realm. The reality, however, is that the universe is constantly changing. Short-lived or transient events are commonplace, and were our eyes sensitive enough to see it, the sky would be ablaze with short flashes of light. In the past, searching for these events was a case of getting lucky. The brightest transient events, visible to the unaided eye, like Tycho's supernova of 1572 or supernova 1054, the one that created the Crab Nebula, were easy enough to find if you were watching the sky closely enough. But with only half a dozen or so confirmed naked eye visible supernovae in recorded history, they are nothing compared to the wealth of events out there. With the invention of the telescope in the 1600s, more events could be found, but you still had to be looking in the right place and be familiar enough with the sky to realise something had changed. The modern-day robotic telescope has changed everything. There are now suites of telescopes like PanStars, Assassin and GoTo scanning the sky constantly and automatically comparing their images to previous star maps to find new events. Others, like SWIFT, the gamma-ray burst satellite, watch from above the atmosphere to catch events beyond the types of light the human eye can see. We are constantly on the lookout for new and exciting events that may reveal yet more about the universe, from the familiar supernovae that mark the ends of some stars' lives, through the exotic short gamma-ray bursts formed as neutron stars collide, and the tidal disruption flares caused by stars being torn apart by distant supermassive black holes. And finally, on to the mysterious fast radio bursts, whose origins remain unclear. With a number of new facilities like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory and the Square Kilometre Array coming online soon, the night sky is about to be revealed as more active and bustling than ever before.